welcome. We got Phil and Dylan here from PD's Variety Channel. And today we're gonna go ahead and introduce you to <laughs> oh, Dylan. Um, to a new series that we're working on on PD's Variety Channel. Um, one of the things we're gonna need is in the comments down below is uh, for you to come up with a name of what we can call this. So we've been toying around with some names, but the idea behind what we're working on is we're taking these old school Tonka toys that have been beat up and kind of uh, left for dead. I'll kind of show you the, it's all rusted and just needs some love, right? So we're gonna give a little bit of love to these old Tonka toys and then we are going to pour these cars onto kids who are going through stuff that, you know, they need just a little bit of uh, joy in, in their life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find kids that are, you know, maybe anybody that's not feeling well, they could, they could just be sick, uh, and then we're gonna give these cars to those folks to, to help, you know, just make them feel a little bit better. And then at the same time, we're making these sick cars feel better also. So that's the start of the video. Dylan is gonna be helping me along this process. Um, basically, what? Um, I don't know. Why would you? Because you forced me to. Why would you say that? That's easy. <laughs> well, I guess I forced Dylan to help with this. So, my dad's currently taking apart this car thing where whenever you push it forwards, like, you know, usually how those cars were pulled back, push forward. This one's kind of opposite. You actually push it forward and it just moves forward. What you do is you take it and then you move it forward. And then this wheel down here. Go. So this wheel right here, usually that wheel will pop down. So if I just... Basically how it works is there's a spring inside there that catches when you push down on the wheel as you're pushing it forward, and that winds a spring, and once that spring gets wound, the spring will unwind, forcing the car to go forward, and then there's a smaller, show that little wheel underneath there. Yeah, I already did. Okay, well that little wheel will make it pop up and down, so it'll be riding down the road going brr, brr, like that. It's gonna be, gonna be pretty cool. So it's like um, a dragster car almost, popping back. And so what we're gonna do, Dylan and I are gonna take the plastic pieces and we're gonna wash them real good, get them all cleaned up and black again. If there's any rust built up, like down in here, we'll use a little bit of a plastic safe rust remover and clean that all up so it's nice and clean plastic piece again. <clears throat> These metal pieces um, for like the, the chassis here for the silver car, it's got rust in there, a bunch of spider webs are in there and stuff, but we'll go ahead and sandblast these down to bare metal and then we will uh, powder coat it back and we'll have a video of us powder coating it um, for all the pieces here. And then we'll put it all back together and it'll look like a brand new car when we get done. We're on. All right, so Dylan's gonna start sandblasting. This is gonna be noisy, so there's not gonna be any volume. go <laughs> okay hi everybody all right so right now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to powder coat the chassis and the body of the car that we're giving away um, so we'll go ahead and get that started this is a fairly messy process so I have my mask on and I've got my rubber glove with a couple floppy fingers <laughs> all right we'll go ahead and get it going
guys, so I'm doing it now. Uh, I honestly don't know what to do because I've never done this before. Alright, so remember what I said. Now we've got the uh, the body and the chassis in the oven. They're baking. It's going to go up to about 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. I'll show you the oven. All it is really is a it's a smoker, electric smoker. And then in there, you can kind of see the pieces dangling inside. And they will bake in there. And when it gets to about 400 degrees. We'll let it go for about 10 minutes and then we'll pull it out and it should look pretty good. We'll check back back with you guys when it's uh, all done. Go. Hi. Timon. Hi. All right, well guys, I, I brought you out here so I could show you what it looks like now. Sorry, it's a little shaky. I'm trying to adjust my iPad. So it's getting glossy in there. It's pretty dark. I don't have a light in there, so I have to use a flashlight, but you can kind of see it's getting darker. We're up to about just over 300 degrees, 325. And you can see it's already getting glossy. Looks like it's gonna look pretty good. All right, I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, well, take this minute. I've got two minutes and 30 seconds left, just to say, um, you know, this is a project that Dylan and I have been talking about doing uh, this type of project for quite some time now. And we've been accumulating some of our, uh, the products, the Tonka toys that we were going to use for this project. Um, we've got quite a few of them and this is actually the first one where we are um, actually going through and doing the whole thing and getting it ready for a delivery to a special person. Um, and hopefully this will bring them the joy and uh, fun that we're hoping that it can. Uh, so we've got just over a couple minutes left. and. We're going to go ahead and do a little reveal of what the car looks like inside of the oven. Um, I'll open the door and see how glossy the paint turned out and stuff like that. And then we got to let it cool. Um, and I've got a couple other parts right now that are getting cleaned up. I've got the wheels. Um, they're soaking and cleaning. And then I'll, I have to repaint the chrome that's on the lettering for the tires and the, ri the ribs that are in there. And I'm repainting the roll bar right now. Um, I didn't powder coat the roll bar just because it wasn't a really good way to ground it to get the... Uh, static electricity run through it. So, um, well, here in a couple minutes, we'll have the reveal. All right, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back. So we are zero seconds for the reveal. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take you guys over there and we'll open up the doors. We'll let Dylan do the honors of opening the doors and we'll see what we've got. All right. Oops, sorry, I put my hand over the camera lens. All right, um, turn off the, uh, the heat first. Get the rotary knob down there, just turn it to zero or to off, and then you'll flip the latch on the side. Flip that out, there you go, and now open the door up. And there is our freshly smoked. So you can see it turned out nice and glossy. I mean, it's kind of hard to see with my camera and the flashlight, but nice and glossy, and we have to let that cool off. And we'll take a look at the other side. And then we'll be able to take it in the house and we'll get it all put back together. Oh Well, there it is, in all its splendor and shininess. So that is just the black powder coat, and then the blue is called Blue Streak Powder Coat. And I will put links to where I get the powder coat from in the description in the video. All right.